Yeah, welcome to Wild Watch. I'm the big fish and we're back at Eddington. Yes, another Sunday, an eight-race program. A little bit of a later start, just before one o'clock for race number one. Let's try and build a bank for you. Let's go to race number two. Brett Williamson's got top pocket chance now. He's had him for a couple of starts. And I tell you what, he backed up Thursday to Sunday last week, both days, sitting parked out, and went really encouraging runs. Let's have a look at Sunday's run. Black and white colours here, blue helmet, sitting outside the eventual winner, Mighty Logan. Tell you what, he went enormous here. He had, he'd no, had no luck. Uh, the first 800 metres he'd set three wide, he got to the breeze and then he set the breeze the rest of the race. You think at the top of the lane he'd give it in, but have a look at his little legs go. They paddle up that lane pretty quickly and they get pretty close to Mighty Logan at the line and that was a pretty strong field. Now he drops into a mobile, he's got a good record from a mobile, he's also got a good record at this distance. So I didn't mind him again very much on what the bookmakers opened up on Saturday morning to his price wise, but top pocket chance, he's working towards another win. His main danger is fearless Ricky May, Darren Simpson getting on well and also the likes of Sebastian Coe, who's not the easiest to catch but he gets his mobile and the country's leading driver in Blair Orange aboard. Let's go to race number three, my best of the day. It's a rating spin. Special. When I say rating special, when he's back, gets in here as a rating 35 to 44, as a 50. Don't know how it got in here, but it's in the 1-1 at the top of the lane here. Andrew Fawkes in the gold colours. It was parked out three wide, got cover, shoved out again at the top of the lane, hits the front and gets run down by the two making runs through the middle here. Uptown Funk and Chance on me and gets beaten about a head. Now on his debut run, he was brilliant this horse. Son of Franco Ledger, you remember him? Trained by Hamish Hunter. Well, it, this horse goes okay and he gets in here as a rating special. As I said, it's a 35 to 44. He's a 50. He's the only 50 in the race. I thought he's the best of the day. Race three, number six, when he's back. Main danger, Franco Messi. We tipped on well, watched to win last week. Did the job, crunched in late. Steps up in grade, but Sarah stays with. Got to have it in the mix. Later on the program, race number five, a horse that we haven't seen for quite some time. Was back at the trials during the week and actually won was Mandalay Bay. We're going to take you two starts ago, February. Eddington Raceway. Have a look at those famous colours there. That's the uh, light blue with the black stars here. Jimmy caught Curtin aboard Mandalay Bay. In fact, it's Johnny Morrison in the gold cap this day running on strongly out wide. Now, he gets beaten by the horse in the middle there, Catherine in the red. But he was three wide. He was doing plenty of work all the way down the back straight, and he stuck on really well. Now, he's fresh up here. He's had that one trial, as I say, during the week. Uh, James Stormont drove. He's actually a half-brother to Anything Goes, who's now with the All-Stars Barn, and obviously set for the New Zealand Cup. He's got a bit of a pedigree. Seven starts, two wins. He won his first two races at Rangiura. Put aside, back as a four-year-old. I reckon he'll go well on Sunday afternoon. Race five, number four, Mandalay Bay. Main dangers, chance on me. Good stand start horse and Fernley Blackbirds dropping back in grade. Like it when it's driven with a sit. I think Robbie will do that on Sunday. Let's look at the three highlights for you. Whale Watch, Sunday afternoon. Each way bet race to the trotter. Top pocket chance. Gee, I reckon he's going super at the moment. The old boy, Brad Williamson drives. Rating special, race three, six when he's back. Rating 50. Gee, it's well placed. Quaddy Must, race five, four, Mandalay Bay. Fresh up for Brian O'Meara.